Hey, Ray, it's Wednesday, and that makes it the 15th. Yeah, wow, 15th already. Halfway through the month. And reading from Gospel of Matthew. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us for you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Ah, this is John the Baptist. And now it's almost like, wait a minute, did I make a mistake out in the wilderness preaching and trying to prepare the Lord for the coming of the Lord? And I just want to make sure one thing. Are you, was I wrong? Are you the right person? Are you the one who is to come or is it someone else? I appreciate that because we call that doubt. And some of us get nervous. Oh, my God, I doubt. Doubt's part of life. Even John the Baptist. <laughs> Here he is probably coming close to his end of his life, and he's wondering now, gee, was I wrong? So doubts, his faith is filled with doubts, but we keep believing, right? The father of the, of the whose son was probably epileptic went to Jesus, and he said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I think that describes all of us. Hmm? Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. So don't panic if you have doubts, because we want certitude. Some things you just never get and get certitude. Even John the Baptist, as great as he was, he too had his questions and doubts. God bless you.